Welcome to the new video. So today what we're doing is we're taking a look at a Bluetooth speaker from Marshall. It's a big brand. It makes speakers for some of the biggest uh, shows that you see nowadays. And also they've decided to release a speaker for the consumer market. Here it is. It's the Marshall Stanmore 2. So I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing or a simulated unboxing because I actually ended up using the speaker for two years already or something like that. What you get is a pretty well packaged box, safe for shipping, I guess. Because look at that padding, that's pretty good right there. That's about like an inch and a half or something. So you get that, protecting it from damage. And then you get some foam on top of the speaker for further safety. And then, there's the speaker. So that's what's in the box basically. Uh, so the dimensions of it is 315 by 195 by 185 millimeters. In inches it's 13.78 by 7.68 by 7.3. So this is 13.78, 7.68, 7.3 depth. And then the weight is 10.25 pounds or 4.65 kilograms. The amplifier circuit that Marshall has put in there is a 50 watt for the woofer. That's like in the middle right here. And then there's two tweeters right here which are powered by 15 watt amplifiers which are class D. So that'll be fairly efficient and not produce too much heat. Uh, okay, so as for the sound pressure level or SPL, they list that it does 101 decibels at 1 meter, I guess, uh, measured at 1 meter away from the speaker, and it could go from 50 to 20,000 hertz. So you might want to pair the speaker with a subwoofer if you want to get anything below 50 hertz audible. So you could just do a Y splitter that goes into the input here, which I forgot to mention. Uh, this takes RCA in or Bluetooth 5.0 in, and I don't know if it's backwards compatible. The power that this thing will accept is 100 all the way up to 240 volts. I don't know if it's like you could have any voltage in between acceptable. They have a dash, so maybe that range is acceptable. 100 volts is probably a good idea on their part because if they design it to, to only work well at 120 volts so you had a lot of things connected to a branch circuit like uh, you had I don't know like a high power microwave that's running off of that same circuit on one of the outlet like the top and on the bottom you connect this speaker and then you try to power it and that microwave is running this the voltage will drop by that microwave being on and drawing power from the outlet to a level below 120, right? So it'd be like 115, maybe even 110. So this will prevent that from happening because it's designed to work 100 and above, not 120 and above. Let's go ahead and talk about the app. And for that, I've recorded a separate screen share of myself actually on the app and explain the features of it. All right, so we're just gonna go over this app here that Marshall has made for the speaker. So as you can see, it's connected to my speaker right now. We could adjust some settings about it. So we could learn about the firmware version apparently. And then you could change its name if you have a bunch of them and you want to identify which is which for any reason. Then you could couple more than one speaker to take advantage of that Bluetooth 5.0 technology and that will allow you to split your channels left and right as you can see there and that will create a true stereo image. And you could also forget this device, say if you're trying to troubleshoot it or you no longer want this speaker to connect to your phone anymore. As for the equalizer, there are some presets here that you can choose from. 
or you could go in and adjust each frequency as you like it. So if you like a bass not so strong, you can turn it down. Let's turn that up and down. These are just frequency bands and you're just gonna set the level however you like it. If you like a flat profile, well there's one right here already built in. But say your your speakers are actually not flat, you could counteract how how they're outputting the sound using the CQ. Next up we can control the light of the knobs and you can adjust their brightness and that's useful for knowing at what level each knob is currently set at in the dark. And then sounds, that's just a startup sound I believe. When you first turn on the speaker uh, it'll make a startup sound and also when you turn it off it'll make another sound. Alright, so we're going to move on to a section where I'll demonstrate the connection quality over the Bluetooth and how far away your phone can be while you're connected to the speaker. Uh, and you'll see in the clip later that the connection drops after I get like probably 50 meters away, that's my estimate. But yeah, uh, this, this test is just to see with no obstructions how far away can you be from the speaker and still stream Bluetooth audio to it. Okay, what I'm doing now is a range test. I'm just going to continue walking back from the speaker until the audio connection drops out. I'm connected with my phone right now. I'm going to start playing audio. And uh, here we go. Let's do it. Alright, so let's talk about the connectivity options for the speaker. So here's what you get. Uh, you get a button that will select between the different input options you have, such as Bluetooth, AUX, which I don't know if I mentioned before, it has auxiliary input on the top here. So 3.5 millimeter AUX cable, RCA, and that's how you select between them. So if you want to play from Bluetooth, you keep pressing this button until it it highlights the Bluetooth in red. There's like little LEDs. Um, then you have your controls of the volume here. So that's the three controls you have. Volume, bass, and treble right there. So that allows you to fine tune it so that it sounds right in your room or how you like to listen to your audio. Alright, now we're moving on to a section where I'm just going to open up the speaker and see what Marshall has placed inside of it and what makes it sound so good. Here we go. Alright, that's one. Alright, that's all the screws. Hopefully this cover just comes right off. So, 
We're back here with analyzing what Marshall has done with their audio circuit board design. Looks like they use very high quality components and they used a basic woofer design, which is a huge and one woofer basically and two tweeters on either side. And that's what gives you that premium Marshall sound apparently. And the wood is actually uh, MDF wood, pretty high density. And everything is screwed and glued together. And they do have this leather wrapped all the way inside past the metal plate. And that will definitely serve to, to make this speaker last you a long time. High quality connectors, it's uh, heat shrinked all over the place. Covered in this protective cloth and stuff, which just serves to stop from cable rattle um, caused by the speaker just shaking these cables around. Uh, that cable rattle uh, coming out of the port as uh, another sound, which you don't want to hear, so that's why they covered these cables with the cloth cover. Alright, and these boards are just screwed in on standoffs that just go into the back plate. And looks like they do not use the back plate to dissipate heat because I mean it's only a 60 watt speaker and you won't get very hot from driving a speaker at 60 watts. So that's the internals. Yeah, I don't want to be opening this up too much because, uh, well, you're going to chew up the wood that's holding the screws in place and you're going to have to replace that back piece of wood. Okay, and there's the Marshall Stanmore speaker for you. Um, I've had it for like over two years now and it has yet to show any signs of problems. I've given it bad power input. I've cut power while it was playing at high volumes unexpectedly and this thing just handled it like a boss. But then when you give it clean power from say a UPS it'll perform really well and overall Marshall did a great job with this speaker and I look forward to buying more Marshall products. It's fake. It doesn't even play anything. This is illusion. It doesn't do anything.